Hi everyone. So a little while back, I did a video on Wonder Studios, a AI VFX tool from Wonder Dynamic. The footage that we saw was really impressive, but as many people in the comments had pointed out, that footage was created by Wonder Dynamic. So, you know, there was a little bit of suspicion there. If you haven't seen the original video, it is linked below, but I feel that any of us that did watch it were kind of caught between this weird place between amazement and skepticism. But now we're starting to get a look at user generated videos from the early beta testers. And I think that gives us a much more accurate look of what to expect. And it's still pretty impressive. This first video is coming from Ren, who you might recognize from Corridor Crew. Uh, according to him, it was shot on an iPhone and uses that alien model that we saw in the promotional materials. Hello, human. I am here to visit all of you guys here today. It's all kinds of crazy stuff with us here. I mean, what am I gonna be doing next? Right? I don't even know. We could do all kinds of dance party stuff. I don't even know anymore. Yeah, come at me. So just going through a couple of quick things that I noticed. Um, first of all, one thing that I find really impressive is the mouth tracking. Um, it's actually really, really, really pretty good. I did notice, of course, some issues in the background in terms of blurriness. Um, that said, I think that when we move a little bit further in, I'm gonna show you something that actually is gonna show how impressive it all actually really is. So the motion capture, I think, is super good. I mean, it's really pretty impressive. Um, how accurately it tracks. Um, there are some issues here and there, like when you run into the kicks, you can see, here we go, you can see the bottom of his shoe, but you know, the fact that you can download the mocap data afterwards, I think kind of makes that a non-issue. Um, the really impressive part is here. This was something that actually kind of really impressed me. You see Ren's shoulder is actually cutting off that sign, whereas in the model, it is not. It's the same frame though. Yeah, there's a lot of heavy lifting on the background that Wonder Studios is doing. Ren did mention in a follow-up tweet, my favorite part is that I can get all the components and fix anything I don't like, download the Blender file and tweak the animation lighting and render it myself or clean up the clean plate. Next up, we have one posted by Negative Vibrate One. He gave us another split screen video. What I like about this is that he, I guess, applied a color filter or at least did some color grading to his footage. So it kind of gives it a little more context. Some things that I noticed in this video, and I'm not sure if this is coming from Wonder Studio's output, uh, you know, Twitter's compression, or maybe something that came out of his file, but there does seem to be a lot of jagging on the edges here. Again, I don't know if that's actually coming out of Wonder Studio. It could even be a stylistic choice by him considering, you know, it's a robot. I, I don't know, but I thought it was worth pointing out. Next up was one from Ted's Little Dream. Um, this was the first one that I ran across that was a tripod lockdown shot. So you can see how Wonder Studios does uh, in terms of separating the model from the background when you have something that isn't chaotically moving around. It does a pretty admirable job here. And prop to Ted, by the way, the song that he's playing and dancing to is Daft Punk's Better, Stronger, Faster. So well played. So this is one from Key Trier, uh, which I think is actually, I love this model. I think it's really cool, but I think it actually illustrates some stuff where, you know, Wonder Studio struggles. So we can see that we've got these shelves that line the desks here, but as our model passes through, you know, we get that catch right there. Um, and look, I know it's a lot. We've got a motion track 3D object in a 2D space and I'm asking for Wonder Studio to do masking as well. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit much, but to note, um, you can also see the actor's reflection here in the glass. I think that this just shows that if you are planning on using Wonder Studios as your only VFX solution, that you're just going to have to plan your shots accordingly. Key Trier points out, I feel the best way to take advantage of this program at the moment is with shots that don't show the feed, which don't connect super well and don't occlude the character. Purs Beats posted this and mentioned, Wonder Studio is very impressive. They'll send you the alpha plate and the background with the character removed, blend files with the character plus animation as well as an FBX with the baked animation. You can take all this stuff into your compositing rig and go to town. And finally, E.L. Penry posted this. Uh, the bottom is actually stock footage that he then ran through Wonder Studio. Uh, he mentioned that this took about an hour to render. So that gives you an idea of how long it takes for Wonder Studio on a full round trip. So while all of this may not look as slick as the demo footage that we saw a few weeks ago, it is showing that it does work. And while the footage that we saw would need to be cleaned up to 
be used at a professional level, uh, I think that as is, it actually passes the mustard if you were planning on doing sort of a smaller scale short film, as long as you plan accordingly. Ultimately, and I think circling back to Ren, uh, I think it can be summed up in this tweet exchange that he had with someone that was a little hostile towards Wonder Studios. Not sure why you're celebrating this when this kind of soulless, skillless, and talentless technology makes actual CG and VFX artists redundant in 10 years. A small studio like Corridor should be actively protesting against AI tools. To which Ren responded, nah, this isn't the right take. My entire career is based upon the very idea that tools got more accessible and easier to use by single artists than they ever were before. And as a result, I was able to make some cool stuff. Art is just a series of creative decisions. Uh, I'll be keeping an eye on Wonder Studios as well as a number of other AI imagery tools. So if you're interested and would like to stay in the loop, please do hit the like and subscribe button. My name's Tim. Thank you very much for watching.